Hello friends, welcome back to Boss Taco Farms. Today, let's talk about how to get an Avogachi. Uh, if you like the content, you find it helpful, please do like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. I'm trying to get a big community going of people who are into DeFi and especially DeFi gaming. So let's talk Avogachi. If you missed my last video on Avogachi 101, we're gonna cover that in a little bit. But the big news right out of the gate that it's time to talk about. Hot 2 is live August 22nd through 29th. So that is about two or so weeks from the date of today's video. Uh, I'm going to break down a little bit today what Hot 2 means, how you can get an Avogachi and some alternative ways too. Uh, super stoked for Hot 2. I uh, personally have not gotten an Avogachi yet as uh, I got introduced a little late and I'm banking on Haunt 2 being able to pick up some. There are also some pretty freaking awesome wearables uh, that are coming out for auction too. So lots of cool stuff coming. Let's break it down. So if you missed my first video, um, why is Avogachi the DeFi NFT game to be in right now? First of all, there's a partnership with Ave. Some of the founders are on board with Avogachi and uh, there's definitely some interwoven partnerships there. The NFTs are rare. Yes, we're expanding with more Avogachi here in Haunt 2, but still, NFTs are rare. Uh, this is proof of ownership. They are collectible. They're tradable. They have intrinsic value. They actually store uh, different Ave tokens inside of them. Uh, a little more on that later, too. You get rewards for play. You can have ownership in the game. Uh, again, imagine getting to own a piece of World of Warcraft. So uh, there's a metaverse upcoming with a much expanded gameplay and uh, there's a great community too. It's a lot of fun. So if you want to join my Taco Gachi group and become an avocado, then hit me up in the comments below. So what is uh, an Avogachi? Well, you have the DeFi collateral stake. That's the intrinsic value from the Ave token. Basically, it's a piggy bank. You have random traits that are assigned via Chainlink verifiable random function to make sure everything is fair and legit. Uh, lots of cool, interesting traits. You get a rarity level based on those random traits, and the NFTs can actually uh, add items on top of them. So there are wearables as well. And yes, they have value too. So those random traits determine the rarity and also the look of the Avogachi. So each one of them looks a little different and also has different features. Um, I don't think they're two alike, um, or if they are, it's pretty rare. So you can see some here that I scooped up uh, from the bazaar, which is where you can buy them. More on that later. Pretty cool stuff. So here in the bazaar, this is where you can buy an Avogachi currently. So you're buying one from someone else who already has uh, bought one or got one in the original portal launch, and maybe they've done things with it, maybe they haven't. And the prices are all over the board because of that. So here is a pretty good example for you. So at the top, you have um, one that has a rarity score of 476. It looks pretty plain compared to the other. 675 ghost tokens, which as of today is around like $1,100 or so. And the bottom one, uh, Mr. Espresso Frappe. Ms. I don't know. Could be either. Uh, 140,000 ghost tokens. That's around 210 $215,000. Now the rarity score here is 755, and in parentheses is the base rarity score, 565. So the Avogachi itself has a very high rarity score, and then these wearables uh, are also pretty rare too. Uh, but it actually is pretty low in stats, so I don't know that this is a really good one to buy, but I just wanted to show you an example of how expensive they can be. Um, and so for people who got in the very first, uh, Haunt are definitely doing very well definitely. Not financial advice. It may not repeat like that, but uh, I think the game's cool and I want to play it. So how do you get an Avogachi? Well, you can buy it in the bazaar like we just saw, or you can get a portal. Uh, the portals were out um, from Haunt 1. That was some time ago. Thankfully for us, we are just in time for Haunt 2, and we have an opportunity to get more portals. So once you have a portal, you open the portal, and you get 10 different Avogachi to choose from or you can resell the portal once you've opened it, or you can resell it as a closed portal also, which you can see here. Um, this is a few weeks old, but an unopened portal was almost $3,000, or excuse me, a little more, almost $3,500 um, a few weeks ago. I think it's higher now. Uh, I think some people view this as 
maybe similar to a first generation unopened pack of Pokemon cards. So if this does take off like people expect, it will be, uh, yeah, it will be worth a lot. Um, and open portals are, um, they vary. It could be around six, 700 ghosts or a little more right now. But you know what's inside, so you know what you're getting. The unopened portal, you don't. Um, so it's a bit more of a gamble. So what is Haunt 2? This is how you can get the portal. So first of all, there are 12,000 portals coming. Another 3,000 will come via drop tickets. Um, there are 36 wearables coming. They can make up a dozen different uh, sets. And there are two, uh, excuse me, there are several different mythical eye shapes that are new as well as brand new collateral stake options. So uh, you no longer have to port from Ethereum. You can do it right on Polygon. You get AMWETH, AMWBTC, and AMMATIC. Um, I think these are pretty cool. I'm pretty interested in the AMWETH one myself, um, but I kind of like them all. And there are still going to be some of the originals too, like uh, AM die at AM Ave, um, AM USDT, and a few others will be there too. So, all right. So uh, you can get the portals two ways. One is through the drop tickets. Another is through what's called the bid to earn auction, the GBM auction. So Avagachi already tested this, and the intent the intent was to not have another scenario where a bunch of people want an Avagachi and can't get one uh, because they weren't fast enough. Uh, this makes it more fair. The auction is going to be spread out over three days. But to incentivize people, if you are outbid, you will earn ghost tokens. That's right. If you bid and you don't win the auction, you actually get more ghost tokens. So it incentivizes people to come through and actually participate in the auction and potentially win. Um, and if they don't, they get a reward for doing that. So this uh, total bidding last round was 3.2 million ghosts. That's six, almost $6 million. So... Um, Pretty cool. Lots of people are into this, and it's a good way to try and get what you want. And if you don't, then, well, you're going to get more. So you will see on the Avogachi website what it looks like and how to get in. So first, you place a bid. If you're outbid, you get a refund plus up to 10% of the original bid amount. So you keep bidding until time runs out. If a bid is placed near the end of the auction, then the auction timer gets extended. So there are also no late, late last-minute snipes either, which is nice. And... Um, that's how you do it. So we don't know where the floor will be. My personal guess, I'm thinking maybe around like 800 ghosts is my guess. We'll see. It could be higher. It could be lower. Now, the other way is to get drop tickets. So you can get drop tickets two ways as well. So the drop ticket is a raffle ticket, meaning you may not win. So you may spend money and get nothing in return. So keep that in mind before you ape in here with, you know, 10 even your chances of winning might be pretty low. It depends on how many there are. And I think as we get closer to the drop tickets, I'll do a video about that too. The other way is you can stake ghosts to earn them. This is a little complex, uh, but I've done the math for you and it breaks down like this. If you, and, and again, these are a few day old numbers, but roughly, if you stake $1,000 worth of ghost tokens, you get 585 friends per day. You need 10,000 friends to get one drop ticket. So that would be somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 days. Now, if you pair your ghost with the quick token, that same $1,000 will get you 1,500, almost 1,600 friends per day, which will get you even closer to your goal. That would take you six, seven days to get one drop ticket. There's also a ghost USDC pool and a ghost Ethereum pool uh, that give you a little bit less, but still more than what you get by staking it alone. So there also happens to be a partnership with DinoSwap right now. Th these numbers are very old. I think right now it's around 50% APR, which is still pretty good. That's on top of the APR, you, or excuse me, the friends that you get for drop tickets. So keep that in mind too. You can earn more Dino with Dino. You can sell Dino. You've got tons of options there. One thing you could do, however, is for the next 20 days or so, you can dump your Dino into the ghost pool, you're burning your dino, you lose 100% of your dino, but you earn ghost tokens in return. Um, the ROI is actually higher on this now, it's around 115% as of today. So that's another really, really good opportunity uh, too. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you learned a little bit about how to get an Avogachi. Uh, more upcoming as we get closer to the auction, and I can tell you a little bit more 
once details are released, but I'm stoked. You should be stoked too. This is a huge opportunity if you want to get into DeFi and NFT gaming. Uh, I, I can think of no better place to start, no better community to start with than the Avagachi Squad. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. See you next time.